Hello YouTubers and welcome to another short review. This is going to be for the third Fake Grand Order Wafer Candy Toy card set. Now this is just what I got in the box. There are a couple more. I picked up most of the commons and the regular rare cards on mandrake.com so that's a place to go if you need to get a few more. But this is just going to be for what I got. Now, just so you know, these are basically a somewhat smaller size than this, about yay high to here, a bar of vanilla wafer, basically. Each one has one wafer in it. They're not very thick. Uh, they're not bad. Uh, they're vanilla flavored and they taste rather good, actually. So, um, I recommend them if you want just a quick snack and some fake Grand Order cards. There's apparently going to be one for the arcade game, but the import prices on those will probably be a fortune, and these use the same art as fake Grand Order. Now I'm using my Common Rider build binder to hold these so that you guys can get a better look at them. And that's my dog, Fred, who is deaf. So please ignore him. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about him. He barks at everything. But as you can see, these are the cards. Let me just focus it in better for you. Now, this one hasn't been released in the U.S. has have these two, but this one just got released today. Tristan, he's from the Camelot expansion. He's a bit of a misnomer because in the game he's actually weak to sabers and in only instead of being strong against saber attacks, he's weak against them, but he's strong against basically everything else, so he's counterintuitive. So he's kind of an odd one. I'm kind of interested to get him if I could. But he's a four star, so rare, and I'm not paying money for gachas. As you can see, these are the backs of the cards here. They show their stats, what kind of servant they are, and what their finishing move is, and the type of attack. Next to it, you can see that there are characters like Hans Christian Andersen, um, Alexander, the kid version of Alexander the Great, or Iskander, and San Zhang, who is basically the priest from Sayuki or Journey to the West, who I've always heard was named Genjo Sanzo, but that might just be the anime name I saw once. So you got them, and same thing, pretty good. There's also Sakura Kintoki in his berserker form there, which is a really nice card. I particularly like getting that one, though I kind of wish it was the Rider one, because that's the one I actually have from the recent event. But as you can see, pretty good. Those are the commons I have so far. Next, we get into the rares. Now, here we've got Archer of Shinjuku, who is James Moriarty. There's Quetzalcoatl, Cleopatra, Shahrazad, as in a thousand and one Arabian Nights. There's Sherlock Holmes, a ruler. And these five are the rare cards I basically got in the packs. Now, below them you can see Saber Bride and Miyamoto Musashi. Another gender flip that they've done. And these two are the rarer cards. This one being the super rare card, and this being the hidden one that they don't tell you about on the package. Now, all in all, I have to say these cards are really nice. I like them a lot. They're a bit small, but this binder fits them well. And as you can see, I've got Hercules Archer and Kiyohime from previous sets. But overall, these cards are pretty cool. I like them a lot. Now, overall, with distribution, those were the cards I got, so that's basically eight commons here that I didn't have, but once I went past eight, I started getting duplicates, and in fact, got four additional common cards, as you can see. 
so bad luck there. And as you can see here, out of the eight super, the eight rare cards, I got five here and a sixth Shaharit one, which was a duplicate Shaharazad here. So basically, the breakdown for the box is you'll get about, and this is rough, eight or so commons, six rares, one super rare, and potentially a second super rare, or the one that's the hidden card in the box that you don't know about. It's hard to say. I'm guessing this is random. I'm not sure if the number of cards is preset, like every box contains X number of each type of card, or if it's randomly distributed and you could get basically an entire box of common cards if you're unlucky. But I kind of doubt that. The way Japanese packaging usually works is they're pretty good about distributing them. I would say you've got a pretty good chance of almost always getting one of the really rare per box. It's just a matter of which ones you get. Overall, though, I like this stuff, and I think this is a good way for them to be distributed with, you know, a candy bar, basically, or wafer bar in this case. It also suits my taste, because I'm not really into really sugary chocolates, so the wafers are actually quite nice. I like them a lot. Overall, though, the one thing I have to say that is a disappointment to me is that the artwork on these is only the stages of the fake Grand Order cards, because what happens is the common cards you see here, they're the initial stage you see the fake Grand Order servants in. Basically, this is what they start out as without any modifications, EXPs, or level cap boosts. The super rares you see here are basically their second and third l level caps. After you apply items to make them stronger, this is what they look like. They gain extra things like the shield Quetzalcoatl here is holding, or the snake around Cleopatra. Then you have these ones, the rare card and the super rare card. Those ones are their th fourth level cap. Basically, the form just before you hit their maximum level cap. Now, this is also what they look like on their final level cap, but the card art changes to a more stylized picture, more like a dynamic picture than just this line shot, or whatever you want to call it. That It's very a very different image, and I kind of wish that the secret rare was that, or that they would give us some of those cards. But it's not a deal break or anything, and this is what their final form looks like, so it's perfectly fine by me. Now, the next set that I've already put in a pre-order for is basically the summer one, which contains a lot of them, including the beach series, which basically means a lot of them are in swimsuits. And as you can guess, it's mostly the girls. So I'm curious to see which ones are coming in this, because it looks to me like they've put all of them on the cover, so I'm wondering who the secret one is. I'll have to figure that bit out. But that's basically it. At any rate, please like, subscribe, comment below, share this, and ring the bell below to make sure you don't miss any updates. And also, if you take a look, you'll see I've got a lot of playlists set up already of lots of other uh, videos I've done. So take a look, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!